take. Yeah, it's so much like remorse. He's like actually became ill. He's like I, I'm just like I oh feel God. so bad. I did that to someone. Like I'm so I sorry. Can't live anymore Rogue, after this. Rogue, like yesterday, yeah, I, I had to play instead of uh, True. He, he, he actually like he actually locked himself in his room all night uh, after what he did in Youngstick. And I mean, how could you do that to somebody who's got such good Goldilocks hair, man? <laughs> that Calaris style, man. How do you, how do you do that? To somebody like that. Still messed up. He's got to atone for his sins. And hopefully, the way to do that is to take a win here for Janair. <laughs> we'll see if he can do it. Janair needs a win right now. Stats looks confident. He's 6 and 3 versus Zerg. Loves his Air Protoss style. Loves the Oracle opening to the third. And if you give him the chance to go Tempest, he'll make too many. <laughs> It should be interesting if you made Tempest on this map. I mean, Overgrowth, a very open map, very ground map. Yeah. So uh, a lot more ground-based armies for sure, but you never know. You never know with these things. And uh, I'm sure from True we're going to see a lot of hatcheries, perhaps in the natural, perhaps even in the main <laughs> of stats. Could be. Uh, I want to point out that if you pick Overgrowth as a map as a Protoss, you're probably a PvZ sniper on that particular day. You're not thinking you're hitting any other race. Yeah, very, very true. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this pretty split even here. I mean, as much as it can be, four and three. Three of those guys going for stats. The two MCs and Kanala actually going for stats. And then us three teams sound and united once again with uh, the analysts up there. Yeah, gotta give Dayhan a high five, air five a little bit later. <laughs> All right, guys. This map that Zergs feels so comfortable on, stats is smiling going into this one. Pretty of a scary thought here for Jin Air because they're down 0-2. Down here in the bottom left, in the green for Jin Air Green Wings, it's true. And uh, runaway train zerg, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true space on Thomas Tankage, man. <laughs> Unless that was Kanata's face, I couldn't really, really tell. No, it was true. I was like, well, it could be Kanata because you never know with these photoshops. <laughs> His opponent, of course, the, the north of the map is Stats, but uh, <laughs> we're seeing true again. So, um. Yeah, he's, called, he's known as the Runaway Train Zerg. Uh, it's uh, the like, best way to translate, I'd say, his uh, um, ID. But uh, he loves his banelings, mm -hmm. loves his aggressive play. Uh, he's just always uh, attacking constantly, very harass-oriented. Loves to hatch block. He almost got three hatch blocks off in his game against Myungshake. And mm -hmm. as our observer's highlighting, it's likely he will go for something like this again. Yep. Either hatch block or just a, you know, a safety scout. Maybe he doesn't want to hatch block every single game because it will be predictable. And I'm sure Stats is going to be ready for this game. Myonsig would have told him of his horrible, horrible game on this map. And like, hey man, you better watch out. You better put down that gateway ASAP and deal with this. Otherwise, it's going to get messy real quick. Stats right. was watching that in the, uh, in the studio here. So I'm sure he's going to know. Mm -hmm. And here's yeah. that sneaky drone, man. All eyes on this drone right now. Oh. And here we go. He sees the gate and he still does it. Yep. Straight up. He's like, you know what? At 13, by the way, he rushes it. He even skips a drone to do this. He really wants it. That's so interesting. We'll have to wait and see where this probe is going to go because you don't usually see a probe scout with a gateway like this. So I'm kind of thinking that the probe might want to pile on block. block. Yeah, he's going to pile on block, I think. We'll have to wait and see exactly. Did he see that? There's no way that probe actually had vision, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think he, had, I don't think he knows, actually. I think he's like, oh, the drone left. Okay, yeah. Mm, Drone's going to actually get that hatchery, the natural as well. Now he sees it. So no blocking at all. So uh, it's a very weird situation, and it kind of feels like Stats wasn't expecting it. Yep. Look didn't. at all those built-up minerals. Look at his face, actually. He's like, he's like, really? How did I not know this was going to happen? It happened It happened just the other day. He's mining right now with about only like five or six probes. Yeah, he, he wants to get this cancel before the creep is spread. He needs He's to not get gonna it. get it, I don't no, think. No, it's gonna finish. He's gonna evil block that. Wow. He's also got the drone coming back too. I don't think he can hatch block again, right? Mm. Right. No, he doesn't have the drone back either. Never mind. No. Excuse me for, for being wrong there. All right, there's oh, evil block. Oh, there it is. There are a lot of probes though. It should be able to cancel it there. 
But he, he actually can try to delay it. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no way, no way. No way. He's trying so hard. <laughs> okay. Not quite able to. Oh. So, so such close. Insane. Such insanity. And he's got such two He's Now he's wow. going to make a hatch in the main, right? <laughs> he could have if <laughs> he a, wanted to. That's the next step. All right, the spawning pool is being added now. Uh, the Zealot might be keen on coming over here to do some harassment, actually. Mm, yeah. I think he is walking across the map, right? Yeah, he, he'll want to you know, kind of disrupt the drone mining. Yeah, he's coming. Because there he is. Yeah, it's going to be so long before Queens or Zerglings are out. And we do see an early gas from True, so he's going to get that Zerglings speed pretty early because he, we did see a very, very fast gateway, which can lead up to uh, some gateway all-ins that come pretty quickly. So he wants to get gas pretty early on. I'm just going to check with the Zealot with the third base first. That's actually going to lose him some attack timings uh, to harass, so... No. Actually, it looks like he doesn't quite realize the pool is so late. He's like, oh, yeah, i, I got to get out of here, right? Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Playing, playing state. Doesn't want to lose this, the Zealot, I guess. Scouting Zealot. Scouting Zealot. Probably want to sit on that tower for a while, see if anything comes across the map, or complete the block at his natural. Okay. Core's done. See some tech here in a moment. Fill in the Stargate after once he gets his uh, warp gate and the Mothership Core and the Stalker and build up 100 more gas. Speed on the way of the full pullout of the extractor. So, yeah, kind of easing into a macro game from here, but it's going to be up to stats. Is he going to go for the sort of that three base style or is he going to go for an aggression? We do see a forge go down. So, an early plus one. This can lead to a kind of a faster uh, third base for sure. We'll, we'll deal with uh, Zerglings very easily. Yeah, could lead to that third base, could also lead to attacks. You know, we've seen plus one attacks at the third place, plus two with blink attacks at the third base on this map a lot. So, could be either. Yeah. Sentry goes down too. Kind of leads me to believe even more so that he might be actually going for this expansion because normally uh, you, you want to get sentries if you're, you're playing defensively. Otherwise, you'd be going for more of a stalker, second stalker perhaps, going across the map, creating a lot of pressure. But he hasn't shown any other tech besides that, just plus one. Two more gateways. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm actually a little surprised by this. Nice snipe on the Overlord. Well, it's not really a snipe so much as a kick off. <laughs> kill. A kill. He eliminates that. All right, let's see how greedy his stats wants to play this. Well, we do see a lot of roaches being made here. Yeah, like 10. I mean, this is a pretty... So it's either going to be aggressive, either kind of cancel the third base sort of style, or is he, he's gearing up to kind of deal with the gateway all in, which he might think is coming. Well, he's not sure, so I think this is pretty cool. It's kind of a catch-all. Yeah. Can, uh, first of all, deny the attack, then do a counterattack at the third base with yep. all these links he's making. Roaches are moving out here. He's going to meet him in the middle of the map. Good to be careful. The Lynx actually scared stats. He didn't start that Nexus. Yeah, he saw them and went back. Very, very smart. Almost loses it anyways. See Twilight Council towards oh, the end of that wow. plus one. He's actually making a ton of Lynx here. He's just going for the kill. Yeah, he, he definitely wants to do some damage here. He's going to go straight for the natural here. He may actually even want to cancel that Twilight Council and just get more force fields out. Alternatively, True could kind of just sit here and make sure no third base gets taken. He's droning up right now. 11 drones on the way beside this, so this is not all in. He's just trying to do some damage delay stats here. Very nice force fields are going to come down, but only pretty much sentries in the back there. But the Nexus Cannon does come down, do some extra damage there as well as that cannon. Yeah. Ling's really struggling to get in here. I think he needs to move back here. Would love to unpower those gates, but there's even a third pile on there with those cannons. It's not going to happen, but he's droning up like crazy. And 10 additional drones on top of the ones he just added. Up to 60 drones now. So you're in a very good position now. Delaying the third base for stats for so long. And we do see stats with the Robo now. Going into Observer, probably into Immortal after that. We could see timing off that. I think that's what he's going to do. I think he's just going to be like, you know, your tech is awful, uh, right? Like, and your fourth base is super late with your aggression here. I'm going to move out with Blink plus two and like one or two Immortals, probably just one. Mm. And then uh, and try to be aggressive off that. See if he can trade something in the middle of the map or trade, you know, at the... Uh, True's base because taking a third here, if he loses his probe like once or twice, I mean that's almost not recoverable. Yeah. Well, he could always put down the Nexus and do pressure from that because he is going to have such an upgrade and tech advantage. 
plus so many force fields with this many sentries. Yeah. Good, and he'll have recoil as well. The good protection there on that probe. The probe was like escorted over there, so he was not able to snipe it. The roaches are already all back at home too, so he only left wings over there. It looks like we're gonna see the one one ling upgrades. Yeah. Sixty lings on the map, so yeah. gonna be pretty efficient. <laughs> it's that true style. Loves his lings. Loves his hive tech as well. And the War Prism. Plus Blink almost finished and plus two. So yeah, I definitely think we're gonna gear up to see a timing anytime soon. While this third goes down, maybe even an empty third. Yeah. A bit delayed for a timing like that, but like it all kind of works out considering where we're at in this game right now. Yeah, you know, use a hallucination to check for Roach at the top mm -hmm. left. So I was gonna say. Yeah, I mean it really is gonna go down to how greedy True is gonna be at this point. Is he gonna drain up that fourth base much? Is he gonna go into meters? Uh we do see more and more links being put onto the map here. But you know what? Lings aren't going to be that great against plus two uh, Zealot, Stalker, Sentry. Eight sentry. That is so many sentries. I mean, Zerglings are going to have a very hard time, especially if we see more Zealot warpins. Not many roaches at all. Five roaches. Hundred Zerglings wow. with five roaches. Well, I don't know, man. This is going to be pretty crazy. We've seen holds like this happen before, but you have to really bait out four skills, which he hasn't been able to do so far. Third base is now saturated. Off 66 harvesters in total. Two more cans going up over there because there's a lot of links on the map. He's identified this. Wants to make sure he's a little bit stronger against counterattacks. A few more roaches are being added in here. Roach speed getting closer to being done. It's a really strong attack coming over here. Here we go. Look at all these stalkers on the map. 19 right now. He's still got that war prism with this as well. He's going to have so many units. He has so many gateways to produce off of these three bases with. I think he's actually just going to go mute as, as much as he can with these lings, maybe. Spire's done. He's maxed out. We're gearing up for it here. All right, here we go. He's going to run in here. The force fields are going all the way around. But there are 120 Zerglings on this map right now. How long can he hold these force fields? Time warps go down as well. Some more force fields in the back. And he's doing a lot of damage. A lot of lings are going down. Yep. Zealots are tanking a lot, though, and the roaches come in. I think he actually needs more links here. A lot are on the way on the production tab, but so many stalkers coming to join. Needs to be using that blink micro. There he goes. There's a lot of Pros Army here with plus two. Plus three has been queued. Another great time warp here. I think this is too much stats. Yeah, I think so, too. I mean, Zerglings with 1-1 one, one are just not enough against 2-0 two, two, uh, two Stalkers. I mean, with perfect force fields like that, he barely took any damage. He lost Zealots, he lost sto uh, Sentries. But he's got his Stalker core, which is the most important thing. And he warped in more sentries, so he can kind of cut off this third base, take it down, and even wanna, uh, even recall if he wants to. Yeah. Look at the gas of True right now. He's got 2,500 no way to use it. He's making only lings right now to deal with this push. Fighting with drones right now. All the roaches are caught behind the force fields. Yeah. You know, with all this gas, I feel like you really want to switch to mutas after he holds, but like, you just can't make mutas. You can't make enough. And. It, He's just gonna, I mean, he's out of larva. He's with pure links, you're gonna run out of larva. Yep, exactly right. I mean, plus two is just too strong against Zerglings alone. And, I mean, a lot of damage being done here, but more and more stalkers being warped in. And so many zealots at the front to tank that damage, to deal with those links. This is too much Protoss here. 61 to 43 right now. That's gonna be game. Way too much damage being sustained here. Not to mention he's got a third base saturated. He's up 15 harvesters. Way too much. There's an observer here, <laughs> you know, just for good measure. So much damage. Yeah, that's gonna be it. GG. Two goes down. Stats takes game number three. Wow. And one KT, game. One game away from the 4-0, and it's Ty versus Rogue. And I mean, yeah, it was it was such a great reaction from Stats because True obviously going for that kill on the third base, but the third base never went down. Stats saw the Zerglings waiting, decided to wait a little bit longer. Then kind of uh, did some pressure with his uh, mothership plus units. Saw that our roach is coming across the map. So he's like, okay, I gotta hold. I gotta sit here and hold. I'm gonna transition into Blink Stalker plus two with a Robo. And uh, just beautiful, beautiful reaction and followed up perfectly. And you know, True was just too far behind in upgrades, too, too far behind in tech to really get anything done. Yeah, it was a really, really interesting composition he tried to work with there. Um, still, you know, uh, a fun game to watch. I mean, I never thought I'd get to, to see a chance in the semis like this to just watch like 135 zones crash into eight centuries to see if they could break through. <laughs> it's, it's hard. Yeah, he, he might have even been better off just retreating while those full skills were up, uh, were up and just 
going I almost felt like if he made a few less Zerglings and made like eight to ten Mutas to put on top of that army, it could it have worked? Like, no, while, the, while I, the Link's tank once the four seals are gone? Mutas, it's going to be Mutas unupgraded yeah. against two O Stalkers. I mean, look at the Jenner coach right now, bottom right. Yeah. He's not having a good time. And, and I mean, yeah, you, against that build, you don't want to go Mutas. You, I mean, if they're going all in from Blink Stalkers, you do not want to go into Mutas until it's kind of, you have map control again, you're safe. And you can harass and, and counterattack, but if they're well, so, so barreling down in your third, you're you're you gotta get hydras or roaches and zerglings out. Well, I mean, so in that case, like I think he should have made more roaches. Like he made so many links, he spent all of his larva mm. against this sentry army that he knew was coming. I just don't think making that many links was actually the right choice. I mean, I know it's the true style and all, but it doesn't matter if you have 200 zerglings if none of them are doing anything at all or doing any damage. Like, yeah, I, I mean, think he should have added more roaches, or I mean. Mutas maybe not the right choice, but he had that tech there. Um, I just feel like he made too many links, didn't use his gas efficiently, didn't use his larva efficiently for the for the hold there. Mm. I think I think he shouldn't have been sitting on those four skills for that long. I think he should have retreated, waited for those four skills to disappear and go back in because he lost just most of his dogs just doing that.